So people, this is the fifth video in creating hacking tool series. Till now, we have talked about creating IP finder, subdomain scanner, port scanner, and also a information gathering tool. Now this time we are uh, taking a look at a tool which is capable of doing multiple things. Like we have merged multiple tools or multiple small tools into a single so that we can take uh, use of it like a, a web in hacking interface. Okay. So let's see uh, how I have integrated all of these. This is just a very basic one. We are not even using a high level of threading. Not even we are uh, just including try accept conditions. These are the modules that you need to install. And to do that, you can do pip install. And the module name that you want to install for now like sys, you can do that. And if in case this doesn't work, you can do Python 3 and uh, dash m and pip install module name like sys or requests like this and this will install your modules as easy as possible i have already installed so it says requirements already satisfied so that's how you do it don't get confused you need to install all of the modules some of them are pre-installed modules so that's not of an issue but you need to install the rest of all this is to create the banner that is visible right here. After that, we are creating a variable for printing the options. Then we are printing a short disclaimer. Then we have created a while condition where select must be greater than one so that it prints an error when it is less than one, like it's zero or negative or any number, like some dumb people try. Then we have the first part if the select is one. We are using some additional things like uh, to make it little beautiful or you can say make it little interactive like this. It says loading and it loads and then it prints. So that is the thing for which we are including all of these like loading page and font and window size. To understand more on this you can go to just uh, the documentation of TQDM and it will help you understand how this works because explaining it will need a different video with a longer period of time and on the select of two it will uh, take you to a part where you are able to generate passwords by the input of some uh, integer like 8 9 10 11 12 whatever it is you can get generated with the password these these are just simple things this looks messy because of this part which is used to create a loading screen for the before this runs actually it makes it slow so i don't recommend it uh, to use this but just for a better uh, look and interface and to make it look cool these are included right here or else there is no use of these okay the third part is where we are talking about creating a word list by taking letters and combinations that you want to use and maximum length and minimum length and then creating it into a file with the txt extension and all of those are done using a for loop and iter tools okay like if you uh, feel any confusion where uh, how these things are working you need to read the documentation because not all things will be explained already we have covered about ip finder subdomain scanner port scanner and information gathering so understanding the rest of these in this programs will not be uh, much of an issue right on the fourth part is this for uh, generation of barcode and then we have qr code generator these are simple programs if you just google you will get more simple not these complex but more simple programs as well this is the only part that is creating the qr code okay it's taking the url and then it's creating its uh, scale and then it's saving it as myqr.png and svg as well fourth part is phone number scanner where uh, we are using phone number module we are parsing the phone number into this phone number uh, phone numbers module and then just getting the description and supplier and just printing it in a form of, of first draw and table format okay in the select of seven we have got the part where we are creating a subdomain scanner we have already talked about it so we don't need to talk about it again obviously in the eight part we have port scanner we have already talked about it and then we have nine where we are talking about tdos script 
now this is something that is not legal so i cannot explain it but yeah you can understand it that we are trying to connect with a target and port by sending a regular request using ascii encoder so that it increases the size of request using the socket module okay so that's all you need to know about this then on the 10th selection of 10th number we have a part where we are talking about admin panel finder now this for example doesn't contains anything that will be displayed right if you just select 10 it will display admin panel finder and it will exit the page because we haven't talked about admin panel finder right we will be talking about that in one of our recent videos so that's all in this video that's how we merge uh, lots of tools into a single one there are ways in which we talk about creating try accept condition but for now taking it in a basic way we can do it like this we are going to update this tool into more uh, threaded way and into a try accept conditions in upcoming videos so make sure you do subscribe to get notified when that video arrives and try making this tool yourself and changing the tools included like change these tools included in this that will help you get uh, understanding the challenging conditions and make you help and help you understand the basics of creating tools in a much better approach thank you for watching and make sure you do like this video